Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Sales for Sun. I hope you are good and doing well. This is Rohit and today I want to show you the latest Winter 20, Winter 24 new feature. I request you to all, before starting this video, please make sure you have to subscribe my channel, like, share, comments and watch this video until end if you want to learn something new. And I already saw lots of people still not subscribe my channel and only just watch and take some free contents and take some you know, you know like advanced knowledge from my contents and that's it right so i request you all please make sure please subscribe the channel and please like share comments and i will show you the latest update about this winter 24 in upcoming videos but i will show you the most frequently used features in this release Okay, so let's get started without any further delay. So this is the first feature here. You can see the logo, but uh, still you cannot see in your org because I'm using pre-release org. And uh, if you are using like summer 23 pre-release org, so it's an automatic upgrade into winter 24. So now you can see this is the new logo and that is called Jani Snow Sewing. So this is the Jani photo. Okay, so this is 24, uh, winter 24 logo. So this is the first feature here. And on next feature is view all the permissions in the permission set in a single page using view summary button. It's still in beta, but we can see this one. I will show you practical part uh, one by one here. First of all, let me explain this slide and then we will move into our practical section. So now you can see, uh, once you go to the permission set, and I already created some test post. So you will be see one button that is called view summary. Once you click this button, you will be see lots of, you know, like permission set, permission set groups, system apps, permissions. You will be see like object level permission, field level permission, which permission, which object and fields is associate this permission set. So you will be easy to recognize this kind of things. It's very helpful. Okay, so how to, uh, how to explain and how to implement in our org very simple just open the org okay so now here you can see this is my org once you refresh this page you can see this logo here this one so this is the new logo here in uh, you know like winter 24 so you can see that this new, this new logo here right so once you open this org and go to the quick find and just search here permission set so once you search this permission set, just click on this permission set option. And once you open any permission set in your org, if you already created or if you already have in your org, very easy to find out this kind of, you know, like feature. So just here, I already created some, you know, like test post. So just let me click on this test post permission set. And once you clicked on this permission set, you will be see one button here. Please observe this. This is the new button here like view summary beta just click on this view summary beta here and once you click on this view summary beta you can see the description about this permission set and who's created this one who's modify modified date created everything you can see in the top and this is the permission set group added to which group you want to show this permission set so you can see here uh, if you already have so then uh, that uh, permission set group is automatic listed here and this is the permission set enable in the permission set this is for user permissions and app and system permissions and once you come here this is the object permission if you have some uh, like object permission so it's automatic comes here like that and here field permission i already uh, created this field permission here that's why you can see like a student teacher and account once you click on this expand all it's automatic showing this object related fields here you can see and all permission like read and add it here you can see same thing here you can collapse it you can expand all like this so this is the first feature inside this winter 24 release and hopefully it will be very helpful for us if you are working in system admin so definitely it will help you okay so this is the first feature let me move into my second feature here and this is the second feature, custom validation using flow. Very simple and very useful because earlier we can show the custom, uh, you know, error message inside our fields or, you know, like records 
using you know validation rules right so without validation rule we can use the flow and we can store error message using this flow into our field level or page level okay there are two option inside this custom error so we can choose based on our requirement so how to show that let me show you the uh, you know practical part of this one so just here you have to search like flow here like flow and once you search the flow just click on this flow and create new one i already created one flow so let me and deactivate this flow here okay so once you come inside this flow so just click on this new button new flow and it will open a new tab and under this new tab you have to select your template it may be like a uh, screen flow record trigger flow auto launch flow any kind of flow you have based on your requirement you can choose like side dual trigger flow everything you can see but here uh, I want to show you the record trigger flow here. So let me select this template, click on this create button. And here you have to select, uh, I will show you this feature uh, in next slide, but uh, you have to select the object here. Let's say account and it's uh, created on and fast field update. Okay, so just save this flow first here. Let's say custom error messages click on the save button and once you saved it now you can see it's still one issue why because because we already we didn't add any kind of you know like element that's why so you can see the new feature that is called custom error so you have to select this custom error here and once you select this custom error in the right panel you can see like label and api name so you have to give the label name let's say uh, phone number error something like that you can give any kind of you know like label or api name something like that you can give description is always good practice always give the description about this thing for time being i'm not giving any kind of you know description if you want so you can give and uh, this is for phone validation something like that okay and here you can see two options. We have to show this error message in a window on a record page as an inline error on a field. Same kind of things we already seen in earlier in classic, you know, like once you show any kind of validation rule, you will be see like where you want to show this error message in record page or in a field level. So I will show you the record page first of all, and you have to create your, you know, like uh, error message here, let's say please this is a custom error message please enter your phone number right like that so this is a custom message before that let me add you know like one uh, decision element under this decision element i want to check the phone number is null or not so check phone number first phone number so just like this is phone number like this and here you have to select the you know like field under this global variable and you have to search here like say phone and this account phone and is null true so i want to make it like this condition true click on this done once you click on this done you have to you know like stop it default or uh, you know like uh, path so I don't want to make it any default path. So now you can see his phone empty. So that time I will show this, you know, like custom message, custom error message inside my field. Also, once you click on this one, you can see uh, this, you know, like this, uh, please enter your phone number is this kind of message, right? So our flow is ready. Just click on this save button. And once you click on this save button, let me activate it and let me test it out so once you activate it just go back here and select your object and say account so just let me select the account and let me create a new account here and once you clicked on this new button it's opened me a new pop-up to create an you know new record account record so here just in this pop-up just let me enter the let's say test account for example purpose 
in the phone number i'm not entering any kind of value and let's see the uh, error message so just click on this save button once you click on this save button immediately you can see my custom message like please enter your phone number this is a custom message from flow inside this you know like fields so now you can see without validation rule creation you can show this you know like error message so this is the page record page if you want to show this message inside you know like which field you want to show so i'm using phone number so you can show it so how to do that under this flow just select this second one like this and select the field and field name is phone number you have to select like phone like phone and let's see the phone number here Yeah, account for so this is the field here and just save as because it's a it's, we already modified this flow that's why we have to create a new version and just save it and don't forget it to activate it otherwise it will always execute your first version not second version once you activate the second version so second version is activate first version is already deactivate okay so just activate it make sure and again you have to click on this save button and now this time you can see my custom message inside my field like phone number please enter your phone number account phone you can see it is a user friendly you know message and also you can see once you click on this link it's automatic uh, highlighted and uh, our cursor inside this field you can see the blink cursor is blinking here inside this field so here you can see please enter your phone number this is a custom you know like error message okay so this is the another feature inside or this release winter 24 so let me move into the next one and here third one is the the edit panel can be accessed side by side for the flow element so you already seen in this example we already seen some example but let me show you this example here so let me move into my flow under this flow you please observe once you click on this uh, you know like start node and click on this edit now you will be see one screen here in the right panel you can see previously it was you know like one pop-up but right now you can see in the right panel this is screen this highlighted this screen like this okay so this is the right panel here also once you click on this uh, you know like added element added element like this okay so previously it was like this so once you open any kind of you know like record trigger flow and you want to edit it so our you know like page look like this okay so this is another feature in the side by side okay once you click on this element and click on this edit the edit also you can see the right panel here okay this is another feature here so please um, keep in your mind these features this is a very good features and you have to implement in your all okay so let me move the next feature and the next feature is like filter option is available in the flow trigger explorer page so once you open the flow trigger explorer you will be see uh, only this kind of you know options like uh, object and which operation you want to perform and after that refresh and this filter this is the new one and once you click on this filter you will be see like status active inactive packages is the manage package or unmanaged package process type is a option flow and this one right so you can filter out your flow trigger explorer as well so how to show that let me show you here so under here under the flow you can see this flow button like flow trigger explorer just click on this flow trigger explorer and it's open me my flow trigger explorer and just click on this filter icon and here you can see you can filter out like how many flows is activate on this uh, object so just click on this activate it's automatic filter like inactivate also you can check here okay it's a manage like unmanaged package based on your need right so filter filter state you can see here like filter by package state like that okay and process type everything you can clear your filter like that so this is another feature here let me show you the next let me show you the next feature and this feature is the plus feature oh, uh, in this uh, winter 24 and i will show you the more feature in upcoming my videos and please stay tuned 
and don't forget it to subscribe my channel again and i will show you the all features upcoming features so that's why uh, i'm planning to show this kind of you know advanced knowledge to you guys okay so this is the last feature that is called transform beta and once you open any record trigger flow you will be seen like transform so transform is nothing uh, is nothing it's a kind of you know like mapping like field mapping you can map the source data to ta target data so how to show that let me show you this element inside our flow so just open the org and under this search you have to search like transfer so you can see the transform beta so once you click on this transform beta just select here let's say test for now and this is source target source data and target data you can map it based on your need let's say any kind of you know like uh, created by uh, like any apex defined variable or you know flow defined variable you can use here and map the you know like mapping it's a very easy it's a kind of a like connector in salesforce right so this is still in beta but uh, you can use like this okay if you need like more information about it you can uh, read this uh, definition here and you will be get to know about it okay so guys i hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is the very more informative for us so please make sure like share comments and hit the bell icon for more updates you never will miss any kind of update from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys